Alright, so we about to check out Rocket Punch, and this is their debut, and they are Woolum's new girl group, and their song, Beam Bam Beam, and I don't even have it open, I remembered, I thought I was going to get the title wrong. Obviously, this being their debut, I don't really know much about them, but I'm sure that some, I don't remember all of them, but some of the trainees that were on Pro 48 are probably in this group. Obviously, uh, who is it? Is it? I know it's uh, Unbi, and it's either Yena or Chewan. Yena or Chewan? Yena, Chewan, or Yuri? One of them, three. That's also in one of them. But no, Unbi for a fact. But some of the others, if not all, I do not remember all of them, probably in this group. Also, before I sat down to react, I did listen to the other songs on their album. I liked, I think it was Lucid Dream. I think that was like the really slow one. I, I like that one. And the very last song on the album. Now, like I said, I know nothing. It says, Rocket Punch, upcoming girl group, not debuted, under the administration of Woolen Entertainment. Administration, that is the, that's weird. I thought it'd say like management or something, which is weird. Uh, they are composed of six members. Judy, Yunhee, Suyun, Yunkyun, Yunkyun, Sohee, and Dahyun. They debuted on August 7th, 2019. So, Yunhee, I'm going to check if there's any of them that I recognize. Oh, well, if it says that they were on there. Because, like I said, I don't remember. So, not Yunhee. Who's the other one? Uh, Judy. Was it Judy that says she was in AKB48? And I also recognize the fact that on Twitter, because I spend an unhealthy amount of time on Twitter, I saw a while back that someone from AKB48, and she is from there, uh, ended up signing with Willem. And is she, is it her? I don't remember exactly the name of the person. But I think it was her. It was early on in the year. I think it was her. Or maybe at the end of last year. I do not remember. I just know I did see someone from AKB48 that ended up signing with them. So you got Soo Hyun, who I believe was in 48, right? Yep, she was in Pro 48. Sohee, I think Sohee said Sohee was also in uh, Pro 48. And I think it said Judy made it to the very last episode. So I think this is the first time I've done that whole thing where I check out the other songs on the album and not the title track. Because I've done that before. I think it's the first time I've done it for a group that's debuting. So... Going into this, I've heard their voices. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be good with name to face regardless because I was just like listening to songs. Uh, but I've heard them. I told you the songs I like. Lucid Dream and that very last song, which obviously once I check it out on iTunes, I'll know the name of it if it's translated. Let's check out Beam Bam Beam. I Rocket Punch. Songs by Mary Twan. Thank you. Oh, she dead ass punched us all in the face. Hold on, that was dope. That was dope. She did the whole Mega Man pose and everything, but she launched the fist. Ooh. And if I wasn't clear, I don't remember if I was. I listened to every song on the album, but the title track. See, this is already different than the feel of the rest of the songs that I have. I like the lights in this. Like, this is so good. like a very, like, cotton candy. Woo! First song, what? Rocket Punch? Rocket, you're right, sometimes a rocket punch. That's a lot of vegetation for one hallway. <laughs> Random ass cheetah. That ain't how Mother Nature works. <laughs> that ain't how Mother Nature works. Oh, <laughs> 
What? As the most of it, you know what? I've never stood next to a cheetah. Never stood next to a cheetah. Maybe I should try. <laughs> Don't. Do I like this part of the chorus though? There was a whole ass gorilla up there. They have literal finger guns, bro. And it's gonna be like the whole thing. You know what? They're gonna kill different styles now because, I, like I said, hearing the other songs and then hearing this style, it's gonna be dope to see them debut, like, come back. going back because I'm not gonna lie I thought the song was gonna end I thought it was gonna end like dude, this is like one of those shots where like okay at the end of it they're gonna say be my boom one more time and cut like right here I thought it would end and they said no or was it like it's right after here there they pose and end and they went again instead Woo! Obviously, I'm already familiar. Recently, I'm gonna talk about it at the end. We're almost done anyway. There's a few seconds left. I'm about to do something. It's the I do was gonna be the dang cheater. Okay, their second reaction to the cheetah was my first reaction, and their first reaction is now my second because I'm not, I'm used to them now. <laughs> Dude, I like this song, and I think more listens, even with everything, this is probably going to end up being my favorite song on the album. Like I said, I checked out all the other ones, and what I was saying is, like, I feel like they got good uh, seniors, like, really good seniors, and Infinite, 100%. I've obviously only checked out Lovelies once, and if you also follow Lovelies, by the way, I checked out that Beat It performance on Sketchbook. <sighs> Listen, they have, they have really good mentors above them which is dope i know that uh i know for a fact i saw that wukian is with them on idol on uh idol room i think it's idol room but i think he's definitely there with them i'm telling you he's they got good mentorship ahead of them and checking out the other songs and hearing this song i really like the chorus of this song by the way and that ending going on longer than i expected it to i'm definitely gonna follow them obviously the way i follow uh because I, I follow all groups really <laughs> like i follow all groups uh, I just don't get around to reacting to everything because that's a lot. It's just that I like listening to different groups and different groups' music because they all have different styles and stuff like that. I'm going to be looking forward to when they come back again and see if like their MVs are like... I I'm not sure if they'll be connected, but see if they continue this whole like style. I'm telling you, there's like candy, candy like light blue, uh, pink combo. I just love that color scheme. It looks so nice. I went off track, but that looks so nice. From the bridge on, bro, from the bridge of this song, like the song was good up to there, but from the bridge on... It like took it up again. If you heard the album, let me know which song you like. Like I said, the very last song for me and uh, Lucid Dream. And right now, this is definitely sounding like it's gonna end up being my favorite on the album, but let me know which one you like the most if you've heard the whole thing. If not, then go check it out. So you could hear that they hit up different styles. And it's dope.